y'all, it's Anna, and today I am filming this look for you, along with two other looks, and at each of these looks I have assigned for a different grade level, so I have 6th grade makeup, 7th grade makeup, and 8th grade makeup, and of course, I know makeup is a very personal thing, if you don't want to wear this much makeup, or you want to wear more, or you don't want to wear any at all, of course, everything that I'm going to tell you is just a suggestion, this is just what I personally wore all three years of junior high, and I think is a totally appropriate and cute look for every year and I can do each of these looks in under 10 minutes. They're so easy and I did try to keep everything from the drugstore so that it's totally affordable and you can go out if you're just starting out in makeup. These are some really basic, clean, cute and appropriate for school looks that you can wear every day. If you want to see the look I'm wearing right now, this is my 8th grade look or if you want to see two other looks then keep watching. So for 6th grade makeup I'm starting by tying my hair back and then taking my simple moisturizer and moisturizing my face. I think that going into junior high it is so important to start to start taking better care of your skin. So I'm just using this and putting it everywhere, making sure it's really rubbed into all the spots on my face. Now I'm going to take this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just dust this mostly in my T-zone, but a little bit, you know, everywhere else too. This is really going to help mattify your face if you have problems with oiliness and stuff like that. And just provide a little bit of coverage without looking like you're wearing anything. Obviously in 6th grade you probably have less blemishes than I do, so this will look a little bit better, but yeah. Next I'm curling my eyelashes and I sped through this because I think y'all get the drill, but I think curling your eyelashes is so, so important. And then I'm just going to go in with one coat of my Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I don't know if anyone's used this, but it's supposed to help your, ma your help make your lashes grow, and I honestly think that it has. I love it so, so much. Now I'm just going to take this Wet n Wild Balm Stain, and this is really nice because I think it gives the right amount of pigmentation and color for 6th grade. So I'm putting this all over my lips, and it is pretty shiny, but you'll see I'm going to go in with a lip gloss later. And a tip I have for using any type of balm stain like this is if it's too pigmented or too, you know, crazy bright, just take your fingers and make it more sheer, you know, it's totally buildable. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. lip stain, but I'm just going to use the clear gloss side to make it even glossier because I think that super, like, luscious, you know, juicy looking lips are so, so awesome for 6th grade. And that is the final look. I really like this because it's so simple and easy, very fresh face and takes no time. Now on to 7th grade makeup. So I'm going to tie my hair back again and then as always moisturize. I moisturize twice a day, in the morning and at night. And yep, you can just see it here. Um, I always make sure to get underneath my eyes and your neck. You definitely want to get your neck in their moisturizing process. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and this is going to be my primer. So I warmed it up between my fingers and now I'm just pressing it into my skin because like I've said before, pressing it into your skin helps the makeup like attach better. Now I'm taking my Garnier BB Cream. I don't think foundation is necessarily you know, needed in junior high at all, but if you do want a little bit of coverage, like you can tell I need a little bit of coverage, I think BB Creams are great and they usually have SPF, so that's really helpful if you're going outside for PE or lunch or something like that. Then I'm just going to, you could use your fingers for this, but I'm taking a Sigma brush and just applying, using the Sigma brush to blend my foundation. Jeez, I can't talk. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and you can use this to highlight, but I don't think that's really necessary for junior high. So I'm just putting a couple dots on my face where I have blemishes and underneath my eyes to cover up those dark circles from all the studying you'll be doing. And I'm just using my fingers to blend it out. I'm setting it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I'm making sure to get this under the eyes so that the concealer stays all day and you can't see those dark circles. And then, like I said before, I'm putting it in my T-zone and dusting a little bit everywhere else on my face. Now I'm taking this Rimmel Scandalized Cold Hall Waterproof Eye Pencil, and I'm going to use this to tight line my eyelids. This isn't necessary if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I think it does make your eyelashes look so much longer and fuller. It's kind of like the no liner liner look, so you're basically just putting it on the inside of your top eyelid. Then I'm curling my eyelashes like always because like I said, this makes such a big difference and I can't leave the house without curling my eyelashes and putting on mascara. This is my favorite drugstore combination right now and it's the Voluminous Curve Brush, which you see right here. And I'm just putting on one coat, really focusing this on the base of my lashes to give it some volume. And then next, I'm going back in with my, here it is, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And I'm putting this on really more for length. So I do about one to two generous coats of this. Um, I think that really bold lashes go with any look. 
Next, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the color Creme Brulee. This is so pretty. It's, just, it's such a nice, like, natural nude without being too nude. It's kind of pinky. It's just really pretty, and it's not too pigmented, and it's really easy to reapply later on in the day. So I'm just finishing the look off with a little bit of this and here's the finished look it is so pretty and natural doesn't take any time and i think is a nice step up from the sixth grade makeup and is perfect for seventh grade <laughs> now on to eighth grade makeup and this is my favorite look again i'm using my moisturizer this is so important for just making this makes your makeup look so much better and actually lasts longer this is sort of a primer if you think about it but i am going to take my elf mineral face primer this one's in brightening lavender and I just put one pump between my fingers and warmed it up so that it'll stick to my skin better. And then, like I said, pressing. You always want to press your primers in. And then I am going back in with my BB Cream by Garnier. You can use a foundation if you want in 8th grade, if you need it. But um, I always wore foundation and I found that it was a little too heavy for school. That BB cream just for me was the right thing for my skin. So, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Then I'm going back in with that brush and just blending out my foundation, pressing it into the skin and smoothing it over. Don't forget your neck, your ears, your hairline, you know, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to see any noticeable lines. So I'm just pressing that into my skin. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again and do basically the same thing I did in the 7th grade makeup. I'm not really using this to highlight or anything, I'm just using it to cover up some dark circles and some blemishes and stuff. Um, you can really use whatever concealer you like, I just like this one because it is pretty, has great coverage but it's pretty light. You know, you don't really feel like you're caking on a whole bunch of foundation or anything. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this powder if you can't tell. It seriously does keep you matte. It's great and it's like $3 from Ulta. I love it. So I'm setting my under eye concealer, um, my just my face, my T-zone, everything like that. Next I'm taking this e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral and this is my newest obsession. It is so pretty. It's such a natural, almost bronzy, corally shade. So I don't feel like you need any bronzer at all when you use this blush because it's just so pretty. So I am going to put quite a lot of blush on. This blush is pretty pigmented, but I still like to put a lot of it on since it is kind of a blushy, bronzy type duo thingy. I don't know. I just think it looks so much better. And then I'm just combing through my eyebrows with a little spoolie. You could use a clean mascara wand for this, but I just have a little spoolie brush type thing. And then I'm going to be setting my eyebrows with this e.l.f. clear wet gloss stuff for your eyebrows and your eyelashes. And I really, really like this. I think it does keep my eyebrows in place all day. Next, I'm taking my Essence I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. And like I've said before, this is like foundation for your eyelids. It is great. I just put a little bit on and rub it around. It conceals all your veins and preps for the eyeshadow we'll be doing. I'm going to tight line again with the Rimmel Scandalize. And I tried to show it a little bit earlier, but I just sped it up here. Um, I just, the way I do it is just put it on with my eyes open. But you can lift up your eyelid and place it there if you want. Now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio and I'm using the eyelid shade for my eyelid. I didn't do any of the other colors because I think that if you find a color that you really love for your eyelid, for me these pretty champagnes like Stila Kitten and colors like this just really complement my skin tone I think make my eyes pop. So if you can find a color like that for brown eyes, I do recommend this one. And I think this is so easy just to throw on in the morning. You don't need anything in your crease or anything like that. It's just so pretty. And then, as always, curling my eyelashes, putting on my L'Oreal Voluminous, and then I'm going to follow that up with my Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And, like and then you'll see, once I put on a couple of coats on the top, I'm going to hit my bottom lashes with a little bit of this too because I think in 8th grade this is a nice touch to kind of add a little bit more drama down there without wearing like eyeliner on your waterline or making it too bold or anything. It's just really nice to finish off the look with some bottom mascara. And then to really finish off the look, I'm taking this NYX Butter Gloss in the color Apple Strudel. A little bit more of a corally pink, almost like my blush or my nails. <laughs> and I think it's so, so, so pretty. So I put that on everywhere, clean it up, and mist some facial setting spray. I've done this um, for all the looks, I just forgot to mention it. And this is the final look for 8th grade. I hope y'all enjoyed. Okay, y'all, those are all the looks that I 
I have for you. And when you're watching this video, it'll be the day before I go back to my first day of high school. So I am so excited and I hope that all of you have a great first day of school, whatever it may be for y'all. And remember that you're beautiful because you were made in God's image. And I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah! Bye.